If you're anything like me, you get a little nervous when it comes to flying the drone thing. And if you're really like me, you've only flown a drone once in your life and you crashed it into a tree. In this video, I'm gonna give you my honest review as a beginner drone operator of the DJI Mini 2. Review starts now. Also in this video, you're gonna be able to see some drone footage as well. Okay, so I'm a filmmaker, a storyteller, and one thing that I always notice when I watch movies, short films, skits, commercials, whatever it is, when I see that aerial footage from a drone, I feel engaged as a member of the audience. They're attractive shots, visually appealing. They help me as an audience member understand where we are, and it's a perspective that you don't really get to see every single day. So as a filmmaker and a storyteller, I'm always trying to find ways to grow as a storyteller. I'm always trying to find ways to engage my audience more and more. And one of the ways that I can do that is with a drone. The only problem is I was really nervous to get a drone. I didn't know what kind of drone to get. I didn't want to spend a ton of money on something that I wasn't even sure I'd be able to fly. I didn't know how often I would use it based on how easy it is to operate or difficult it is to operate. So it's safe to say that I am the definition of a beginner drone flyer. Thankfully, I actually didn't buy this drone. It was a gift from my father-in-law. It was. It is such a blessing. So I kind of was able to dodge a risk in buying a drone, failing at flying it, and wasting a significant amount of money. I was gifted the Fly More Combo. So real quick, I'm just gonna run you through what comes in the Fly More Combo. It came with this cool carrying bag. Someone in my other video referred to this as a purse or a satchel, one might call it. With the Fly More Combo, you get battery charging hub that can charge up to three batteries at once. You also get three batteries. I didn't know if I needed to include that. The remote control. You obviously get the drone. Um, it's very small. It's less than 250 grams, 249 grams to be exact. And I'll be honest, I didn't really know how significant of a deal that was until I got it. Because like I said, I'm a beginner in the world of drones. We'll get more into this in a bit. This also comes with a lot of extra cables, oops, extra propellers, and a little screwdriver for when you need to change the propellers on this tiny drone. It's very small. Tiny screwdriver, tiny drone. Tiny drone, tiny screwdriver. And that's all that it comes with. So right off the bat, this shoots in 4K, which is great because it's taking in way more information with previous drones or cheaper drones. You probably will have a hard time finding a low cost drone that is in 4K. So in my opinion, the footage looks really crisp. And here, here is some examples of what this footage looks like. Now the battery charging case is pretty clutch and the fact that it comes with three batteries is pretty clutch. Reason being is that each battery probably only accounts for a little over 20 minutes of flight time. And I'm pretty sure that if you just buy the Mini 2 without the Fly More combo, you only get one battery. So you really can only fly this for a little over 20 minutes at a time. This is kind of cool. In the bottom here, you store the little knobs for your controller so that they don't break. And you just screw them in like this. All right, so the controller at a full charge actually lasts for, I believe it's like a little over two hours at a full charge. And it only takes about a full hour to charge the entire thing. So I don't know if that's important, but you pop this up. This is where you will attach your phone so that you can see everything that your drone sees on your DJI drone flying app. I feel like I need to say this before I get into the specifics of all the different things you can do when you're flying it. This drone is so easy to operate. The one drone that I have flown in my life, it wasn't a DJI, I don't even know what brand it was, but it was so difficult just to calibrate it, get it to take off, 
stay balanced, fly it in different directions. This drone is so incredibly easy to operate. The only thing that gave me a hard time was signing up with my DJI account or registering my DJI account and signing into my DJI account. So DJI, make it an easier process, please. Me and my good friend, Mark, got this thing set up, ready to take off in just a few clicks of a button. After you calibrate it, really simple, really simple process to calibrate it. And you just click, you click a button that says auto takeoff and it just takes off. One of the things that really blew me away and I really, really mean no pun intended, was how this thing holds up in the wind. Right off the bat, we are flying in like the windiest conditions and this drone is staying perfectly still. The gimbal that holds the camera, perfectly still. And as I'm flying, the tech is so smart. It tells you how high you're going. It can tell you when you're in a restricted zone. It can tell you when you're at max height and you can't fly any higher than that. And like I said, it's just so easy to fly. The response time is incredible. It will tell you when you're getting too far away. You can click a button and it'll just fly back to you, which I'm pretty positive most drones do. Like 99% like of drones do that. But as a beginner drone flyer, that's huge because I barely know how to fly this thing away. Never mind, bring it back. So if there's anything that you're gonna take away from this, maybe you don't really care about the specs of this thing or what it can do, just know that this drone is incredibly easy to fly. I was absolutely blown away with how easy it was for me to operate it. My first time ever flying it, my, my second time ever operating a drone. All right, let's move on. There are three different types of flying modes on the controller. There's normal, sport, and cinema mode. Normal mode is pretty normal. Not really sure how to describe it. You'll probably have a better understanding of what normal mode means when I explain the other two. Sport mode, pew. sport mode for me, at least when I was using sport mode, I could just move the drone way faster. I could fly faster. The controls were a little more touchy. It's less contained. That's how I would describe that. So if you are somebody who's looking into a drone and you want a drone that's gonna go fast and you can take sharp turns and you can fly up really quick and down really quick, this drone can handle that. It can do sport mode. Then there's cinema mode. Cinema mode, was less touchy. So I could do these slow pans and these slow tilts up and down. And you couldn't really see any like hard jerks or anything like that as it turned. You guys like my uh, impersonation of that right there? So normal mode was really just, is normal. It's, it's not super touchy. It's not gonna fly really quick and take sharp turns. And it's not gonna go really slow and cinematic. It's gonna fly Kind of like how you would driving a car. That's a bad example. I hope that you understand what I'm trying to say. Right here is that return home button. You just tap that twice and it just flies back to where you were. I do think you need to set your home coordinates because it does connect to GPS. So it'll remember where you are and it'll fly back there. But that's still really easy to do and it's simple to set up. Again, really simple. If you've ever played video games, this is just like playing a video game. So if you're like a young filmmaker or a young, drone operator, you're beginning drone operator and you've played a video game before where you have to fly or drive something or like a first person shooter. It's just like that. It's the best way I'll explain it. On this side over here, we have the record slash take a picture mode. Really simple. When you want to start recording, tap the button, you're recording. Want to take a photo, tap the button, you're taking a photo. Pretty simple. And that's kind of it with the remote. So let's move on to some features of the drone. This thing shoots in 4K, 1080. Uh, I believe it also shoots in 2K. You can shoot in 24 frames, 30 frames, or 60 frames per second. For the technical film people out there, you know what that stuff does. And you can also have automatic white balance and do your photo settings automatically, or you can change them and customize them to whatever you want them to be to get the look that you want. So if you're a beginner drone flyer, my point is this, this thing is so easy to fly. The footage looks unbelievable for the size of the drone, for the quality of the drone. It's 4K, so you're gonna have a better image than if you were to fly with some cheap 1080p drone, right? But if you want a good quality drone that's easy to fly 
and you've never flown a drone before, I highly recommend this drone. DJI obviously has not told me to make this video or paid me to make this video. I just genuinely love this drone so much that I wanted to tell people about it. So that's it, that's pretty much all I have on the drone. If you liked this video, give it a like. If you found it helpful, give it a like. And if you have any questions, throw those down in the comments. I would love to answer them for you if I know how to. Like I said, I'm a beginner drone flyer. I don't really know all the technical stuff about drones. If you haven't already, would love for you to consider subscribing. That way you and I can continue to grow as storytellers together. Thanks for watching. Keep telling stories and I'll see you in the next video.